our series with the world's digital thought leaders, the people creating the trends that we are all talking about. Our influencer segment is presented by AT&T. Check out the AT&T Samsung Infuse 4G. We're taking Twitter questions on our phone. Hop on your phone, get connected, and join the conversation. Our influencer today, which I'm so excited about, he is a rapper, artist, producer, blogger, book club leader, he also had an amazing performance this past week at the MTV Movie Awards. Lupe Fiasco. Hello, hello. So you have over 600,000 Twitter followers. Mm -hmm. Does it change your engagement with fans and your empowerment as an artist? I put it like this. Mm -hmm. You can put up something and you can have 600,000 fans and what have you, and you put up a link and you t for something, right? And like, people don't really go to it. You would think that they it would be like, like you would like think that it would be like, ah, oh, people people really didn't read that at all. You know, they didn't go through it at, at all. And you used it a bit with Atlantic Records when they were holding your album, getting your fans to protest for you. No, I, I didn't do that. Okay, I didn't, didn't get my that. fans to protest. They protested. That was That's the, the, the amazing part of that whole process was I didn't ask my fans to do anything. I didn't ask them to protest or petition. They took it upon themselves to do that. You know, Did it you actually know. work? Hell yeah, it worked. Even though they still got a release date, um, the fans still protested. You know, they still really? came out. Yeah, they still came out. At first, it was RSVP for like a thousand people, and uh, once they got the release date, only 250 people came out. But you still had 250 kids all dressed the same with picket signs in front of Atlantic Records in the middle of the heart of the financial district in New York. You know, chanting Lupe Fiasco. Brings the power back to the artist. As far as power, I think that the power has always been with the fan. Like, at mm -hmm. the end of the day, those are their customers. Mm -hmm. You know, these are your customers coming, demanding a product that they want to buy. So your latest album, Lasers, and the single, Words I Never Said, is pretty politically charged. Mm -hmm. And that's actually an anomaly for a pop artist. You realize that, right? Yeah. And I mean, you do mention, though, going against Obama. The, my yeah. fight against terrorism, to me, the biggest terrorist is Obama in the United States of America. You know, so for me, it's like I'm trying to fight the terrorism that's actually causing the other forms of terrorism. You know, the mm -hmm. root causes of the terrorism is the stuff that the U.S. government allows to happen, you know, and the, the, the foreign policies that we have in place in different countries that inspire people to become terrorists, mm -hmm. you know. And it's easy for us because it's really just some oil, which we can really get on our own. So who are you looking to vote for? No, I don't vote. In the 2012 vote. presidential race? I don't vote. Oh, you don't vote? No, I don't vote. Really? No, I don't vote. But I don't get involved in the political why? process. Why? Because it's meaningless. To be honest. Really? Because you you vote, first of all, you know, I'm a real big believer. If I'm going to vouch for someone, uh -huh. then I'm going to stand behind everything that they do. Right? So that could be you. That could be the cameraman. Like, if, I, if I'm going to say I stand behind this person and write on a piece of paper that says, hey, I stand for this person, then I, I, I have to take responsibility for everything that he does. Because that's just how I am as a human being. Right? So politicians aren't going to do that. Because I don't want you to bomb some village in the middle of nowhere. You know, so what if no one you. voted? What would happen, though? Who knows? Let's try it out and see what happens. And you're also very into charity mm -hmm. beyond all of this. I know, I know Kenna, well, at Summit on the Summit, mm -hmm. and you were involved with that. And then also uh, Resurrection to Haiti. Mm -hmm. You gave proceeds of that song to charity. Mm -hmm. um, so do you think social involvement is a responsibility for artists today? And how do you intertwine social media into all of that? Um, I, think it's, I think, you know, like charity and, and, and being socially responsible is a responsibility for everyone. Mm -hmm. you know, we're human beings, we're tribal creatures, you know, in a group, that's where we survive. You know? um, that's, the, that's the nature of our kind of existence. And so you definitely have to have a responsibility for other people that are around you, you know, to see them succeed and what have you, um, or just to see them do better. So I think that's beyond me being an artist. Even if I wasn't an artist, I'd be doing the same thing. When yeah. I wasn't famous, I was doing the same thing. When I didn't have money, I was doing the same thing. You know, I was still helping wherever I could. Uh, me and my sister just started an organization called the Lupe Fiasco Foundation oh, in Chicago, cool. which is based on literacy and uh, promoting health and wellness and education and all of that good stuff. Um, and so, you know, the social media aspect of it comes in, it's that reach, you mm -hmm. know, it's that big voice. And so we exploit it to the fullest extent, you mm -hmm. know, to get that message of positivity or link to this charity or, you know, just this is the new book of the week or whatever we yeah. can do to kind of inspire that. And amplifies it. We actually have a Twitter question, speaking of mm -hmm. Twitter, from Yaniv Fatucci. Thanks for the question. He wants to know when we're going to hear from your punk band Japanese cartoon again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Japanese cartoon? Uh, we had the one album called In the Jaws of the Lord's Death, mm -hmm. which uh, we put out last year, I think, last year, last year, whatever, um, for free. 
Um, and we'll probably have, hoping to have another piece of music. I don't want to say an album or EP, but just another piece of music out, hopefully by the end of the year. Okay. Yeah. And of course, you just announced the AT&T Music For You concert. You're headlining for fans in Chicago, yeah. August 23rd, your hometown. Yeah, man. Shout out to Gotta me. love that. For more, check it out, facebook.com slash at t mm -hmm. so Thank you so much for being Appreciate here. It. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. You have so much going on. And you can download Lasers online legally. Yeah, legally. Legally. <laughs> That's legally. the key word. The mixtapes will always be free. That's okay. another thing. Mix, my mixtapes will always be free. But please, you know, pay for the album. There you go. And check them out at Lupe Fiasco on Twitter.